Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Over the course of the last couple of days, we've gotten help in a couple of different ways. I actually just returned from the shop outside of the arena to purchase the things you see here on the screen. Also got a new party member who's very good at carrying Italian plumbers. Look how quick he is. What's more, we got a new hammer and we can contort our body like so, destroying eyebrow blocks. This episode, I don't know that we're going to get anything new, but we're going to use all of these things that we do have to continue to challenge matches here as, well, Mr. Gonzalez, as you see there. <laughs> Our next opponent, rank number seven, are the Shell Shockers. Now, I'd have to imagine that these dudes are Koopas? Potentially this Koopa, specifically. Now, do I want to use Koops? He's got the Power Shell attack, which attacks all of the enemies on the ground. And I think that would make sense, provided, of course, they don't have a huge amount of defense, which I have to assume they would. I mean, he's wearing friggin' armor. I mean, he's got a spiny shell as well, a spiny on his forehead, too. So jumping on him is not going to be super helpful. In fact, I'm just going to use our new friend Yoshi Jr. there, who I've chosen the name, thank you. And he's going to swallow him, spit him out, and it always does damage. It looks like that's not the case, though. In fact, we're using the, uh, we're battling the grayed out coops. Goodness gracious, they look like they're diseased, the turtle of hurdle. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? <laughs> So-called great Gonzalez? Don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! Okie dokie, they've all got sunglasses, they all look pretty cool, but unfortunately they're going to be fools. It says use a special move at least once. So, Earth, Earth Tremor, I suppose? Or maybe we should use Clock Out just to... Just to tie it, just to try it out. We haven't used this one yet. So A, B, and X appear over the enemy. Tap that button. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm not necessarily great at the timing things. Uh, B, A, X, B, X, A, B, B, A, X. I, I'm mashing it. Okay, I don't know. This said great. Did that work? It didn't look like it actually did anything. Maybe I didn't. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna have to try that one again, it would seem. Uh, I said to mash the button and I was... Oh. Okay, we can't swallow these dudes? Maybe I'm just off my game, alright? It's been a, a little tiny bit since I've recorded, but not long enough to where I should just be... awful, right? Uh, we get a super hammer. How good would this be? I don't know. Let's actually just do a, uh, a normal jump so we can put this dude out of the air and on his back. Perfect. So they do have some defense, it would seem, and that's understandable. I'm going to try to gulp once more. Okay, there we go. I just didn't have that timed up properly. No matter. Uh, no harm, no foul. Goodness gracious, I say that. Uh, dude's in his shell and upside down. Oh, no! Oh. Oh, we're dead. Wow, okay, learning experience. <laughs> These things happen. These things happen. We got ourselves a winner, the Shell Shockers. You got it, baby. Giblets, does that, does that mean we get demoted? We get we get a single coin as a result of the fight, uh, which is, okay, the ranking remains. Let's go challenge them once more. Okay, starting things off a lot better already. We were able to successfully get the first paratroopa on the ground and successfully swallow and spit out his cohort. Now we just have to successfully execute these action commands so we don't take a freaking ridiculous amount of damage again. Son of a gun. All right, well, part of the stipulation for this fight led down for Mr. Bossman was to take damage five times. I've already taken damage uh, <laughs> three times, I hope. Uh, I, I, I'm still not completely certain whether he means like five individual turns or five individual times from each enemy. I'm hoping it means that because five turns of that would be just freaking ridiculous. Uh, almost as ridiculous as hitting the poison shroom there. So, uh, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared as to whether we'll even be able to complete this this time again. We might be taking a third stab at this Koopa Trio. Hopefully not, hopefully Mr. Boy's here able to gulp this guy down, throw him back at his friend, and kill them both in the process. Survey says yes. Awesome, awesome, love to see that because now we can put you out of your misery, buddy. Uh, we're gonna do it with our feet this, well, that would be only four times we've been damaged. Okay, fine, let's, let's defend. 
<laughs> okay, uh, that, we'll, we'll, we'll see if this counts as five. We'll have our answer after this, so hey, at the very least, we have that. As such, you should appeal to the crowd, Yoshi Jr. Wiggle that nose, it's bulbous and round. And we're able to only take one damage on account of our defense, which is excellent. So normal jump right on the sunglasses. Damage those Ray-Bans, they're knockoffs, all right? He got them off of Wish.com, and they've got a big old crack right in the center. Repeatedly tap R. Oh, we barely max that out. My trigger finger was not ready. He did five damage there. Nice job. Okay, granted, four of the five, I think, were all uh, just ones. So that wouldn't work against an enemy with a high defense, but for the enemies that don't, that's that's a pretty pretty good good move there, Yosh. Get all you got. Oh. Someone's calling our name. Who calls for Gonzalez? Oh, it's the rocks dudes again. Hey guys, we already beat you though. Like last episode, I think we beat you to get into this. We actually, you were the fir they were the first match that we used Yoshi Jr. again. We couldn't beat them until we had Yoshi Jr. Seems they want a rematch, an unsanctioned rematch. Why, it's practically unheard of. Hmm, what do you want to do here? You want to do a super hammer? Yeah, uh, so hold the stick left. Do a power smash. Uh, huh, which one of these would we do? This one's just gonna be stronger, but this one sends the enemy flying and damages it. Let's test this out, just since this is new. This is uh, unique to this special mallet that we have, this metallic mallet. So, whoa, it's got a... Yeah, that didn't work at all. Okay, <laughs> we would have been better off using the big mallet, the super. So, we'll, we'll keep that in mind next time. Same tactic might work. I have to imagine that these guys have... Oh, a lot of, lot of damage there. I have to imagine they have the same amount of HP as the last time we faced them. Uh, but I don't know that for a fact. Okie dokie. <laughs> we almost just got killed by the crowd there, all right? We're battling the rock enemies, the clefts. And people are throwing up their babies or something. All sorts of little rocks just flew onto the freaking stage, man. That's uh, poor sportsmanship. I don't know what you're playing at here, fellas. But if you want to, you know, assage your pride, right? Like redeem your name. That's not the way to do it, all right? You're gonna get looked down upon, especially once you get swallowed here by a freaking child and then killed, potentially. Yeah, good night, sweet princes. Thanks for the 10 star points, though. I'll take that. I'll take that and your money. The prize money, that is. We better get extra. Blah, we lost after all that. Man, we reek. We haven't taken a shower in like five years, so I guess it makes sense. Hell we! That's a great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors. Kid, don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack. Whoa! <laughs> tough. He's dang tough. Too dang tough, really, honestly. Yeah, this kid's only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See you later. Ooh, see you later, sir. Now, uh, we've we've consistently all this whole time. I've expected us to like jump ranks. You see there we rose to seven. We have gone incrementally one by one every single time. So, I'd have to imagine we need to get to rank number one in order to get the crystal star. So it looks like we've got six more matches. But first, another email. Keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong and you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. It's dead meat for those of you that can't, that can't spell. Man, that dude pounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex-buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? I'm guessing that it's the promoter, all right? I've been suspicious of the promoter for a long time, probably since we first met him, given his uh, similar appearance to a Mr. Tubba Blubba from uh, Paper Mario 64. Granted, he's not as uh, swollen or, or large as Mr. Tubba Blubba, but we don't know what this dude eats. If he eats ghosts, he could very well be related to Mr. TB. All right, tuba close? No, tubba blubba, even worse. Next, we're going against the fuzz. Is that the fuzzies? Another another five five time damage thing. We learned in the last episode or the last uh, match that it counts each one, right? So if they each attack us, that's good. I'm going to swap over to, to Coops because he can damage all of them at once, and he's got decent defense, too. Granted, I don't know that that's effective against the, uh, the HP-sucking nature of fuzzies. Of course, it's also possible that the name is deceiving. Uh, fuzz, it, it could be fuzzies. It could be the police, man. They got the 5-0 on their side. They're coming out to arrest us. No, it is fuzzies. Three different colored fuzzies. 
There was a green, a black, and what looked to be a like a lavender sort of color. The bottomless vacuums. Yep, a fat to the finish with the fuzz. Um, okay, we can do this. Yeah. Mjark! Let's suck up your souls! Mjark! Wow. Get yourselves ready to battle! That was a scary proclamation there, Mr. Fuzzster. Suck my soul, you say? Well, I will... Hammer your hole. How about that, huh? Does that sound nice to you? We're not going to kill them all immediately because... Well, that would just... Well, that'd be rude, first and foremost. But it would also not let us win this battle. So, we'll kill one. Easily done. Now, Cooper... Coops, goodness gracious, keep confusing you with the first Koopa friend from last Paper Mario game. We'll do this. Ugh, man, I have a hard time timing that up. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we've only got two of them to deal with. Oh, that one sucks the FP! My goodness gracious! Uh, that must mean that they got a crazy attack, so let's get back there and see if we can kill them. You know, that'd be, that'd be helpful. And gosh darn it, a Shine Sprite would have been nice. I mean, we're only missing three hearts for Mario and three FP. But given the fact that these dudes will suck it right out of us, I think that would have been extremely helpful. Uh, hopefully we can just eliminate... Oh, wait, the goodness, no! We eliminated both of them. We didn't meet the battle stipulation led down by the boss, man. I think that's my first time failing that. What happens? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, hopefully that just means we get less prize money or something. And we still rank up. We have to rank up, right? We got 14 coins last time. We got 13 coins this time. Unless I'm misremembering, which is entirely possible, but I think we actually did just get less because our ranking did still rise. Cool. So, really, what that tells me is that there's no real benefit to uh, to listening to the boss man. Hey, you, Gonzalez. Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. Ooh. A cake. It's got a strawberry. And, what's that? Mayonnaise! Ooh, my favorite! Delicious! Let's grab it, it's probably poison! Can I, can I take it off the pedestal? Hey, that looks, that looks pretty good. You can probably get a quick energy boost from it. Eat the cake. Oh, man. No, I'm just a little tad too suspicious. I am on a diet, alright? Mario's watching his figure, you know, he's gotta see the princess later on. And he wants to woo her! Mario is not the type of guy to ever have rock-hard abs, mind you. He's more of a, a keg man than a six-pack, you know what I'm saying? And me too, for that matter, but he does want to be, uh, you know, not too large to, uh, to share a, a movie theater seat with, with the princess. So we'll hold off for now. But I also do, you know, like I said, <laughs> have a sneaking suspicion that it might be poison. Uh, we, we have someone, Mr. X or Person X, helping us out. They're the person that gave us the hammer. Oh, we're, we're facing the fuzz again. So we can't, we, we can, we rank up, but we can't, we have to meet the stipulation to go through. Okay, well I'm gonna skip through this fight since we already saw them on camera and I don't want to waste everyone's time without, you know, delving deeper into the story. So I'll see you on the other side once we've successfully met this dude's, uh, criteria for moving on. Okay, so we did it. But that was the wildest experience I've ever had with RNG in a Paper Mario game. Uh, you, you look at the screen here and nothing looks out of the ordinary, right? Everything is as it was when we left off right before I just did that fight real quick. I gained a hundred freaking star points from it. The final fuzzy would not attack me. Uh, so my strategy, I just killed the front couple fuzzies until there was just one left so that we wouldn't take too much damage and then I was just gonna let the final one attack us five times and then we'd kill him and be done with. Well, it took him like 15 minutes before he would finally attack me the final two times. <laughs> we were stuck on three hits forever, all right? He kept spawning new little fuzzies, and it got to a point where we weren't even getting star points to register anymore. I guess I can't really complain because that was the easiest 100 experience points I've ever gotten. And to that effect, I suppose we should allot the badge power that, as you probably could have guessed, I chose to take. Uh, I am interested in these partner ones, like the Mega Rush, the Damage Dodge, Last Stand even, but I think that having, uh, I think that having another attack might be helpful as well? I don't know. I mean, we're gonna get another level here soon, so it's probably not something I really need to worry about too much. Uh, we've already got a happy heart for Mario, so we might as well get that for the partner as well, and a Mega Rush, because if they're in peril, man, 
An extra five points of damage would be exceedingly helpful. Now, let's move on to the next leg of this Colosseum. All right, the Tolby Colosso? No, we're doing this one instead. And the next opponent, rank five, is the Magikoopa Masters. Now, presumably, the Magikoopas are going to be airborne, right? They're they're like little magical witches people, and they're going to have some flying capabilities, but they probably don't have a whole lot of defense. So, I think Goombella would be good for this one. She Well, hold on. Yoshi Jr. can jump, too, at the ground pound, right? Let me read that. Dropping enemies from above, crushing... I think so, and that would be stronger than Goombella's uh, standard attack. Yeah, we'll, we'll get Yoshi Jr. back out. Uh, I, I was going to use, like, the multi-bonk, but this can do five points of damage, which would be, like, a very successful multi-bonk experience for me. <laughs> and it would require no FP, so I think that... I think this is the right call. Now, we just have to make sure we deal with them relatively quickly because I don't necessarily know exactly what they're capable of. And look at this, only one of them is on a broomstick. I worried for nothing. I could even swallow one of them and spit them right back out. And in fact, I might I might start with that. You fool, you would do well to fear our dark magic. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okie dokie, uh, dudes, who wants to be swallowed first? Probably the one that's got a yolk plate yogurt. Uh, let's... Gulp you up, hold R, then release when the light up. Spit you out at your friend. And Mario, let's use some some Quake Hammer and maybe we can get rid of those two dudes. That would be nice to get rid of two in one turn. Two, two? Uh, we only got rid of the first one, but presumably the second one is right on their way to dying. They send a magic spell to Mario, doing four points of damage. Goodness gracious, the second one does a spell on the other one, making them invisible, therefore attacks will miss. That's pretty lame, because they were almost dead. However, if we ground pound on this guy, if we can max out our meter here, which we did, the combination of this and Mario's jump should be enough to eliminate it. At the very least, it gets it off of the, uh, the broomstick and onto the ground. So, that, in and of itself, is a good use of time for me. Now, nine, nine points? Nine points is enough. Now, how long do you stay invisible? Oh. Well. You spawn yourself some friends there, huh? That's a little bit disappointing because I can't even hit any of you, so we're just going to, uh... I was going to appeal to the crowd, but that would do nothing for us. Let's just defend. I don't know that this will influence the defense that we have for magical attacks from Magikoopas. Uh, traditionally in RPGs, it's things like resistance that are influenced by that, but there's no such stat here. And while we could take the time to laboriously hit them one by one, I'm just going to do a quake camp and get the thing going. Oh, this is the most efficient way. Boom. Good night. Unsweet Prince, all right? You're bitter and gross, and we get to level up again, which is the opposite of gross. In fact, it's quite sweet. Now, I'm actually considering using the points from this level up not in British Petroleum. Yeah, believe it or not. I, I mean, just because we just did that like two minutes ago, I kind of feel like I could stand to put it somewhere else, maybe even heart points so that we last a little bit longer. Though it says it's great if we lack confidence. The middle's great if you use moves. Interesting. <laughs> this is the only one that has like a negative connotation with it. This one's like, hey, if you like badges, that's good. If you like special moves, that's good. If you have no self-confidence, this is good. Huh, that almost is a deterrent. That almost is a deterrent. Uh, I don't exactly have a whole lot more badges I want to use. But goodness gracious, ah, I know what I'm about, right? I cannot resist the extra British Petroleum. So, Mario became a B-list. Interesting. Okay. You had all you got. Mario's a B-list here. Mario! Oh, we're gonna get a, a Bowser fight? What? Whoa, another fighter storming in, screaming his full head off about something. Gonzalez, lots of foes. Folks, sons don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street was that some mustachio doofus was in Glitzville. And looky here. Uh, talk about perfect timing. And now all these great folks get to watch me myrtleize you. Oh, mm, roar. Well, this is not ideal, to be honest with you. <laughs> I am going to destroy you, and I have witnesses. Well, thankfully we got a heal because we leveled up. What are you, oh, you got defense there, Bowser? I don't exactly know anything about you. Uh, we just got an... Uh, nope, I missed the timing for the item. We had an item there. Let's just hammer him. How about that? 
Unfortunately, we didn't get an opportunity to put on our, our, our extra badges uh, due to the extra badge power we have, but maybe that's fine. Oh, he's got any defense at all. That did five? I feel like that's more than usual. Let's ground pound this boy. Come now, bring it down on him. Do another five points of damage to the King Koopa. Oh, he has one point of, of defense, but thankfully, thankfully that that, did, think that didn't count for the subsequent uh, little booty bumps there from Yoshi Jr. Huh, it might make sense to just continue that same strategy though because we were able to do 10, or actually nine points of damage in the first turn. Nine plus nine is 18, plus another nine is 27, and there's no way that he's got more HP than 25. So we might be able to take care of him in three turns. Maybe even less, right? Maybe he's got 15 HP. We'll see here. All right, Yosh. Now you could swallow him, but that actually wouldn't do any more defense, or it would do one point more, right? And that's four flower points. Yeah, that's not worth it at all. Thankfully too, I'm a little bit better at mashing a button than I am at like timing up booty bounces, even though I've, I've gotten okay at the booty bounces. Oh, well, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. Uh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a plumber? Mm, one. Yeah, one, one lick from your giant lizard tongue would probably do it, all right? You know, cats, they have, like, the abrasiveness on their tongue, good for picking meat off of a bone. Well, lizards don't ordinarily have that, but I'd have to imagine that a giant friggin' Koopa lizard like Bowser would have something like that, all right? He seems like a, uh... Uh, a lick the meat off the bone type of fella. You know what I'm saying? He's not one to leave anything wasted on his chicken wings. What was wasted was that turn by Yosh Jr. It seems that the mist made him miss. He missed on account of the mist. You know, see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that quite a lot. Let's power smash and hopefully Mario doesn't miss here. And this might be the end of the battle if so. No, it's not. Alright, he's got a little bit more HP. Uh, we're starting to dwindle on HP, which is not ideal. Um, unfortunately, I was a little bit too headstrong here because I probably could have considered healing. Thankfully, though, Yoshi Jr. does not miss, and it looks like we round out the battle. Oh, goodness me. Oh, I'm dead. Dead you are, and we get another good amount of experience points. Oh, oh, who? that's all Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some nut ambushes him. Tough. You're too tough, son. You're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, see ya. All righty, see you indeed. Now, here's the question. Are we going to get a threatening message or a helpful message? We've had a little bit of both over the course of this competition. Ranking up to level five, got to imagine we've got a threat coming our way. Someone's going to feel challenged by our presence. Wow, that was the king of the Koopas, wasn't it? Wow, that guy's insane. Oh, hey, you, Gonzalez. Since you didn't want that cake, I ate it. Best cake I ever had, man. Sprinkles frosting, the works. You're an idiot. Oh. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Let me talk to you again. Maybe maybe you'll vomit. When I watch you fight, it makes me want to win more than anything. Hey! That's cool. I enjoy that. You know, I, I, I like being a motivational figure in the ring, all right? All of the other fighters can look up to the great Gonzalez and strive to perfect their craft of handsmanship as well as he has. Though none can ever hope to reach the levels of mustache supremacy that he has achieved, all right? A glorious stash like this you can't be grown, all right? You're born with it. Mario came out of the womb with a lip full of hairs. So, who's ranked four? Wait, going up against six? We already did the Magic Koopas. Did I not hit the stipulation? Avoid using the hammer. Okay, yeah, now that I think back on it, I don't know that I even paid attention to the stipulation last time, so... That's unfortunate, but you know what that means. I'm just gonna skip right ahead to where this is done, unless, of course, something interesting happens, but I don't foresee that being the case. As I thought, the Magic Koopas were no match match for us again, and I was able to put the badges on myself. I did the close call and the get lucky. So, we'll, we'll utilize the capabilities of those here as we tackle number four, the Crawdaddy. Ooh, who is that? Is that a shellfish? Use at least one special move, he says. On the Crawdaddy, I like that. Now I want some, some Cajun food now. Maybe a, a nice seafood boil or something? That sounds quite nice. I do have some Old Bay seasoning downstairs in the pantry. Haven't had any uh, any seafood though in a little bit, which is interesting because I live in Florida, right? You'd think that that'd be something, something you have a lot of being, you know, living in a coastal area, but <laughs> it just hasn't happened that way. 
For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Dark Gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Crow Daddy. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Yeah. Foolish mortals, we will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. My goodness. <laughs> Crow Daddy's a little cross scary. Goodness gracious, he looks haggard. He looks old and got the bloodshot eyes. Uh, use a special move at least once. Should we just do that first? Let's see here. Uh, I had a terrible time with Clock Out, so I'm not going to do that. You know what? Let's wait. Let's just wait. And if we kill him first, we kill him first, and we'll just, I'll just redo it off screen. But the only special move I'm really interested in using right now is a Sweet Treat, and obviously that would be a huge waste of time at this point in time, so we'll just do a Power Smash and see how much defense Mr. Daddy has. Zero, survey says. Um, now, if you get gulped, Craw Daddy, does, it kill, does this kill the Daddy? No, Daddy's got some strength to him. Ooh, Daddy do got some strength to him. My goodness gracious, Daddy be throwing the spear like friggin' Tarzan. All right, I'm not too fond of that to be honest with you. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna sweet treat our way into some extra HP for our friend here, thus completing the requirement to move on to the next rank because we don't really want to have to craw dadify ourselves any longer. All right, don't get me wrong, craw dads are okay. In, in moderation, um, I, I don't particularly love the idea of eating like their whole little bodies and stuff, but, but the tails are okay. <laughs> that being said, I don't want to have to mess around with the crawdads any more than I have to. Oh, I let go. I let go, and he just gave Crawdaddy a nice little cross, snacky, licky. Ooh, that's not helpful. Thankfully, though, ooh, 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 my goodness gracious, we are maybe going to have to do that again. <laughs> uh, by that, I mean the sweet treat, but we'll see what happens here. Are you as strong as Bowser? One would have to assume so, and it took us a few turns to eliminate Bowser, but so we'll see. I think we've done close to 20 damage here. He missed on account of the mist, and so did Crawdaddy. So, you know, all's fair that ends well. And power smash. I'm a little hesitant to send Yoshi Jr. over there with the booty bump. Gosh, darn it, what a waste of FP. But I'm gonna do the booty bump. Just don't land on his freaking spear, all right? You see that pointy thing there? It's not for your butt. I said it's not for your butt! Oh, goodness gracious. Well, it seems that that's not the move, and neither is that. Thankfully, we replenish a heart from that, but we're gonna have to nearly die. We're in peril. Uh, definitely sweet treat time. We need to max this thing out and not hit a single poison shroom. We need to hit everything that's not a poison shroom. Well, we've already failed that goal, so... <laughs> oh, we just need to get as much of it as we can now at this point. I think that's the last poison shroom, so we can just kind of flail about. And... There was one more poison shroom, but it was the last thing there, so that's fine. Up to 6 HP, this guy's capable of doing 6 damage, so that's not entirely uh, reassuring. But maybe we can just eliminate him here with the tongue. 5 damage, is that enough? It was. Excellent. Excellent. Man, that was just a wee bit stressful. Caused me to sweat from a number of number of places on my body. But thankfully we were able to overcome and send the Crawdaddy himself back to the netherworld. Get all you got. Well, you've got such an attitude, Yosh Jr. I do enjoy that you're on our side. I'm so glad we didn't put you on a hot dog and eat you. I'm also so glad that we continue to get uh, rankings up, of course, and the coins. Because at the beginning of the episode, right beforehand, actually, I purchased a lot of items and blew through my cash. I think I have made all that money back already. Email. Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion for Mr. Saturn. Old dude X surfaced again. Wow, we gotta go get some phone booth now. Where was that thing? Wow, well, we'll find it. Let's head outside. We'll find it. I already know exactly where it was, all right? You were there, I think, when I spoke on it, but we're gonna go speak on it next time. So, thank you. Well, hey, you wanna do it, Yosh? Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you then.